time out from a busy schedule to come here uh, are, are uh, which come to mind right away based on at the moment seems to be run by a war machine rather than a government wants dialogue while holding a gun in its hand a terrorist gun in its hand talks and guns don't go together Opposition on a dialogue has been consistent. We have always been ready for a dialogue, but we will not succumb to the blackmail tactics of a government in Islamabad that seems eager to use terrorism and terrorism as policy. We heard the glorification of a terrorist. Burhan Wani is a self-declared commander of the Hezbollah Mujahideen. This organization is widely acknowledged as a terrorist group, internationally acknowledged as a terrorist group. It was shocking that a leader of, the nation, of a nation can glorify a self-declared, a self-advertised terrorist at, such, at a, such a forum. This is self-incrimination by the Pakistan Prime Minister. We have just heard a speech full of threat, bluster, and I'm afraid what can only be described as rising immaturity and complete disregard of facts. The only occupation in Jammu and Kashmir, which is a part of India, is the occupation of a part of Jammu and Kashmir by Pakistan's occupation army. The world also knows that Pakistan has indulged in ethnic cleansing within its own, of its own people. Pakistan's consistent use of war and terrorism has been, alas, at the cost of development of the people of Pakistan. The people of Pakistan are paying the price of a malevolent policy. Yeah, just two questions because we have to leave. Yeah, uh, yeah. Abhishek from Times Now. Sir, uh, uh, Nawaz Sharif in his speech also said that Pakistan is ready to go the extra mile, has always gone the extra mile. Which extra mile do you think the Pakistani Prime Minister was talking about? Poppies. We haven't seen the first mile. Where is the question of the extra mile? Yes, last question. Okay. Indrajit Kaluja, the Indian Prime Minister. So the policy of India towards Pakistan has been rather in the unclear for the last couple of years. Do you think India is now resolved to take a firm stand against Pakistan, notwithstanding whatever Pakistan our Prime Minister's attitude and policy to Pakistan has been consistent from day one. From day one. In the very first invitation that was extended uh, to the Sark uh, leaders, it was made clear that India was always ready for dialogue with anyone, but not if there was any use of terrorism. You will recall, even in the first weeks, the dialogue process was disrupted because India's stand has been unfavoring and changing. You can see in our relationship with other countries, which have uh, 
where the dialogue process has taken amity and friendship far, very far. It has. It has. Are we ready for it? Yeah, please, please. please. Uh, yeah, yes. No. Sir, the uh, heard all the other speeches, and nobody else has referred to this. Yes, last, last question, yes. Hi, sir, this is Ashok from ANI. Sir, your post deletes your comment on Balochistan because the Balochistan people are protesting us in front of UN headquarters. Any comments on it? Well, uh, if the Pakistan, Balochistan people have uh, reasons for protest against uh, a, a policy of serious violence against the people, uh, which has a very long history. It is a violence that has included the use of air force, massive, uh, the use of massive armed forces against them. But uh, the best, uh, you know, I think you will have to go and talk to them to find out the full truth. Thank, Thank you very you. much. With that, we end this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.